Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am so thankful that y'all are here. I pray you can find home here, and if so, welcome. So in today's video, I wanna to talk to y'all about how to exude authentic confidence, not fake confidence where you feel like the only way to be heard or seen or liked is by being loud or by looking a certain way or by doing something, but how to genuinely feel confident and also show others that you're confident. True authentic confidence is gonna radiate through somebody's behavior, it's gonna radiate through somebody's lifestyle choices, how they treat people around them, how they treat people closest to them, how they treat themselves behind closed doors. Self-confidence is so much more than just walking into a room and catching everybody's eye or, you know, being the center of attention. Authentic confidence is gonna shape you in ways that faking it till you make it just won't. Number one, you have to be honest with you about how you're feeling because when you lie to you, the more you live in a reality that's not true to you, but you're still trying to cover it up by presenting a false self or not showing your true emotions and stuff like that, the more you won't feel confident, the more you'll feel like you're being fake or you're not your complete self around other people. So you have to be honest with yourself about, okay, what environments do I thrive in? What is my true personality? What do I feel most comfortable doing in this moment? Do I feel like talking or do I feel like sitting back and observing? You shouldn't try to like everybody or force kindness and niceness to everybody because everybody won't deserve that from you. You won't feel like being nice to everybody or nice all the time. True confidence is being able to be grounded and accept all your feelings. If you like somebody, great. If you don't like them, great. If you want to go to that event, great. If you don't, great. You're not constantly judging every feeling. You're not constantly judging every behavior, everything you say, everything you don't say. You're not constantly keeping yourself on this hamster wheel of coulda, shoulda, woulda. If you're still stuck on trying to be the nice person, trying to be the one that's accepted and liked by everybody, you're being fake in a way. Naturally, we won't get along with everybody. There's no one person on this earth who's liked by everybody. And that's no matter what status, symbol, how much money, how much success they have. Nobody is liked by everybody and you won't like everybody. So you have to be very honest with how you feel and with your own perception. Number two, this one is for my anxious people, for my overthinkers. When you start overthinking, when you start going into your head, push your energy outwards. Because the energy of overthinking, you're basically going inwards and you're replaying all these different meaningless thoughts to keep yourself safe or to try to keep yourself safe from embarrassment, humiliation, or whatever else can go on in a social situation. So when we start to go into our heads, instead of just accepting the environment, accepting the situation for what it is, we start acting in ways that are more awkward or are more fake to who we are because now we're acting on those thoughts. Now we're telling ourselves, it's too much silence, let me just say something. Now we're starting to tell ourselves, oh, they might not like me because I've seen the way they move their head to the left. And so now I have to be extra friendly or extra this or extra that. As soon as you start overthinking, understand that none of these thoughts are the truth. None of these thoughts are the reality. A lot of us overthink for various reasons. It can be trauma, it can just be, you know, you have anxiety and deal with that on a day-to-day -day basis. But for whatever reason you start to overthink, understand that it's a you problem. It's not that other people don't like you. And even if they didn't like you, that cannot harm you. Somebody not liking you doesn't take away from your worth, from your value. So when we start to overthink on things that maybe aren't even true, you take yourself away from the present moment and you ruin chances to actually create bonds and create friendships and relationships that could be meaningful and beautiful to you. But if you're so in your head and you're thinking they don't like you or I'm too awkward or it's too much silence, I must have did something wrong, 
you get in the way of the true presence of that moment for everybody. You get in the way of that true, simple, calm beingness that allows your confidence to just be. Because again, confidence isn't a action. Confidence is an allowance. You allow things to happen. You allow yourself to feel how you feel. You allow yourself to not be liked. You don't try to force, you don't try to control, you just allow. Start focusing on the practical facts about what's going on around you. If everybody is silent, what is everybody doing? Some people may be on their phones. Some people may be staring off to space daydreaming. Some Look outside, look at the weather. What is the weather doing? Look around you, what are strangers doing? Don't be so focused on yourself and how you're ruining everything. That's not true. And again, this can be caused by something from your past that's causing you to now question everything and every behavior of yours. So push that energy outwards. Focus on what everybody else is doing. Focus on what you want to eat later that night. Like everything doesn't have to be so serious or so detrimental to the moment. Tip number three, dress in ways that make you feel good. Now I know for a lot of people, I used to think the same way. Dressing in certain ways or being focused on your outward appearance, I used to feel like that's really superficial. Like when you spend so much time on looking good, how can you be authentic? Like how can you spend time on your true genuine self if you're pampering yourself all the time? But this was a very limiting and limited mindset. Everybody on this earth is born in a human body. In a way, we're all partly superficial and partly spiritual, mental, emotional. So it's up to us to treat this body, treat ourselves in the best way possible. And part of that is to look good in the body that you were given, to feel good in the body that you were given. And everybody's way of dressing isn't going to be the same. Some people can overdress and feel right at home in that style. Some people can be minimalist and feel right at home in that style. So it's not a particular way of dressing. It's not a specific way to look. Like I'm not saying you have to wear makeup every day or you have to go to the gym every day. It's not a look. But if you know looking a certain way or dressing a certain way would make you feel better about yourself, do it. Stop telling yourself, oh, I should just be okay with looking a mess. I should just be okay with never getting my hair done, never getting my nails done, never doing this, never doing that. Pamper yourself. It's a reason why we're physical bodies too. It's a reason why we have eyes. It's a reason why we can see everybody we meet. It's a reason why we were born in these physical bodies. So dress it up, have fun with it. You won't get another one and this life won't last forever. So be true to you. And my last tip is that you have time. I know society and a lot of social norms are built off of this idea of first impression, first impression, first impression. And it's kind of caused us to put on this fake persona, put on this fakeness so that we can be liked immediately. And in a way, it's kind of like that instant gratification, like, oh, if I just act this way, then everybody's gonna like me, everybody's gonna accept me, I'm gonna get that job, I'm gonna make those friends, life is gonna go great for me. But this idea of first impressions does not work when it comes to being authentically confident, authentically creating bonds and connections. Because what's gonna happen is, when you start thinking first impression, you're also going to think this is my only chance. So I have to be fake. I can't present my real self. I can't show people that I'm nervous. I can't show people that I'm scared. And I'm not saying that you want to present yourself just any old way just because you have time. I'm not saying that you shouldn't care about how you present yourself, but you want to have an element of your truest self along with you, no matter if it's the first impression, the last, or all in between. Because the people that are meant to be in your life are going to be there no matter if it's an awkward first impression, no matter if it's a nervous first impression, no matter what the impression is, they're going to be there. If you cannot be yourself, if you cannot be honest about how you feel, 
more than likely that space is not going to be good for your mental health. Those people aren't going to be good for who you truly are at your core. So try to drop this whole idea of, oh, I only get one chance to get them to like me. I only get one chance to perfect this social interaction or else. One social mistake, one awkward interaction, one moment of you not knowing what to say or you not really getting along or meshing well with someone is not going to end your life. It's not going to end your social life. It's not going to be the last person you ever meet, ever date, your last friend that you make. Let things be what they are. Let your energy resonate where it's meant to. If the energy is always off, then that's just not somebody for you and that's okay. First impressions are not the only meaningful interactions. And also think about it. Have you ever heard of best friends where they're like, I really didn't like you at first. I really was not feeling you. But the more I got to know you, the more time we spent, I got to know who you really were. So make sure to always remember that you always have time. You always have space. You don't have to force interactions. You don't have to force anything. You showing up authentically is more than enough for the people who truly want to know you, want to be in your life, and want to be just as authentic with you as you want to be with them, with yourself, with the world, and everything else. So if you made it to the end of this video, I am so thankful. I'm tired, I'm ready to go to bed y'all, okay? But I love making these videos for y'all. So I'll see y'all in the next one and good night, good day, whenever you're watching this. Bye.